Hello, welcome back to the Human Body Read Aloud series. Take just a moment and click subscribe. That helps me. Also click the bell if you want to see more of the read alouds. Right now, that's what I'm working on for my teachers that need the extra help because many are teaching virtually and using these to supplement their lessons. So please hit subscribe. Thank you. So today's lesson is the five keys to health. And the term key here refers to habits that support healthy living. A healthy body is one that is strong and well. I want you to listen carefully to see if your idea for healthy living is the same as Dr. Wellbody's. Hi everybody, and I do mean body. It's your old friend, Dr. Wellbody. We've been learning a lot about the human body. Now I'm back to talk about how you can take good care of yours. Remember that there is only one you. That makes you special. You can take good care of your body by giving it certain things it needs to keep it healthy. So here are five things to do to take good care of special you. Eat well. Your body needs lots of energy to keep it going. You need energy to work and play. You need energy to grow. Energy comes from food. Food is the fuel your body runs on, just like cars run on gas. But some foods are much better for you than others. The best foods to keep you going and growing are nutritious foods. They have lots of nutrients such as protein and vitamins that keep you well. Nutritious foods include fruits, vegetables, whole wheat bread, brown rice, nuts, fish, and chicken. What about sweet, sugary foods like candy or cookies? They may taste good and give you some quick energy, but it wears off fast leaving you feeling weak and hungry again. These foods are only good to eat once in a while as a special treat. Eating these foods regularly can make you gain weight and give you cavities or small holes in your teeth. Fatty foods like bacon, french fries, and chips are not very nutritious either. They can make you gain weight and slow you down. By eating nutritious foods, you'll be able to better think, jump higher, run faster and grow stronger. Part of eating well means knowing what to drink. Do you have some plants at home or in your classroom that need to be watered? Every plant and animal needs water. You do too. Much of your body is made up of water. You have water in your muscles and around your brain. Your spit, saliva, Sweat, urine, and blood are mostly made of water. Because water is so important to your body, make sure to drink plenty of water every day. Exercise. Your body is made for moving, for running and jumping, leaping and skipping, and catching and pushing and pulling, dancing and diving. Participating in an activity in which you are moving your body to keep it healthy and fit is called exercising. Exercising helps your bones stay strong. It makes your muscles bigger. It makes your lungs and heart stronger. It helps you fight germs and it can help to put you in a good mood. You can exercise by hitting a baseball, kicking a soccer ball, jumping rope, dancing, climbing a tree, rowing a boat, skating, or doing many other activities. Just choose something that's fun for you and get moving every day. Sleep. After you have spent a day at work and play, you feel tired. That is a sign that you need to recharge your body. How can you do this? By going to sleep. Sleep rests your body and helps clear your mind for the next day. If you don't get enough sleep, you may feel grouchy and your brain won't work as well. Children need between 10 and 12 hours of sleep every night. 
That means that if you have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning to get ready for school, you should be in bed sometime between 7 and 9 o'clock at night. A well-rested body will stay healthier too. Keep clean. Washing with soap and water will get rid of germs that could make you sick. So jump into the, that bubble bath or shower and scrub. Don't forget to wash your hair with shampoo. You will look, smell, and feel good. Wash your hands often during the day, before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and whenever they look dirty. When your fingernails look dirty, you should scrub underneath them with a brush. Washing your hands often is a great way to wash germs down the drain. And don't forget to brush your teeth. Brush your teeth at least twice a day. Use dental floss in between your teeth. This washes away the germs that cause cavities. Then you will have a bright, clean smile that says, I took good care of my body. Have checkups. Germs are all around us. They are on plants and animals, in food and in water. Most of the time, germs don't harm us. But what if you wake up one morning with a headache, a fever, and a sore throat? Uh-oh. Some germs have made you sick. Since your body has natural ways to fight most germs, you will probably feel better in a few days. If not, you should go to see a doctor, like me, who can give you medicine to help you get well. Even when you're feeling terrific, it is important to have regular checkups with a pediatrician at least once a year. Your doctor will make sure you are healthy and growing. He or she will also help you keep from getting diseases by giving you vaccinations or other medicines. I always look forward to seeing how much my patients have grown when they come in for their wellness checks after each birthday. There you have it, Dr. Wellbody's five fun and easy ways to take care of your body. I hope you'll try them all. And now, before I go, let's give a healthy body cheer. Yes, yes, yes to veggies, to fruit and chicken too. No to too much candy, because it's not good for you. Yes, yes, yes to washing, to exercise and rest, because strong and healthy bodies are bodies at their best. Yes. All right. Thanks for joining me, boys and girls, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you later at the next Read Aloud.